Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Angela Brennan and today I am going to be doing a card purely on die cutting. I got this new die cut from Simon Say Stem, the Edged Laurels. It's essentially two dies with leaves on it and I couldn't really decide what to do with it. So I started off by just getting it out and looking at my cardstock and seeing what colors I'd like to use and go with that. I store my dies on these square pouches, not on magnetic sheets now, because I want to keep track of where I get them from as I'm doing videos now, so I can let you know what uh, make they are and therefore easily to get them. So these are the two dies that I have, and I'm going to be using a craft cardstock, a square craft cardstock that measures about 13 and a half centimeter square to do the card. So firstly, I look at the cardstock that I have. I have multicolored cardstock on this coordination stock cardstock, which is good quality cardstock. I think it's about 180 to 200 GSM. So it's pretty thick and good for die cutting, especially with those etched dies. You can see the etched um, gra uh, grains of the leaf on it. So these are the cardstocks that I've chosen. I don't know why I chose all of them. They're way too many for a card, but I'm going to be making more than one card. So you got all great values of the basic rainbow colors. So I start off by die cutting both dies on it. And here you have all the colors that I have. So for the first card, which is a square card, I'm going to be probably just using the smaller leaves. Now I struggle a little initially on what I'm going to do with it. And then I finally decide that I'm going to do a colored wreath. So I take out my circle dies and I draw a circle with a pencil just to give me a guide on where I'm going to put this smaller leaves to make my colorful wreath if you like. And I use the pencil. It won't be seen finally because I'd be covering it with the leaves. So I start off with the reds. So I tend to use the values of the um, all the colors actually because it's, it's smaller leaves therefore if you're going to do a 360 degree circle you're going to use all the colors I don't use any of the larger leaves I keep that for the next two cards so I start off with the reds and then I go on to use the other colors so while I finish this wreath I'm going to leave you with some music so you can see how I finish off this wreath <laughs>
finish off the card with a circled white embossed die cut which I think I'm going to leave as this. I was thinking of putting some gems on it but I thought you know what it's got loads of colors and I want to keep it simple. Now we move on to the next cut. What am I going to do with all these extra leaves? The longer leaves are harder to deal with. I struggle a little. First I start off with a beige background so an ivory card and I think I'm going to stick the cards to make a background. I try a few different variations. I'm not really happy with it. And then I think maybe the beige background is too light for all these colorful cards. And I say, let's get a black background. So I get an A7 card, which measures five by seven inches. Now the colors do look better on the dark background, but I'm still not quite sure what to do with it. So I still try to do a background of sorts. But I'm sharing this with you to show that sometimes I have to try a few different variations before I come up with a card that really clicks for me. So I do a, a wavy die cut at the bottom. It still doesn't do it for me. And now I think maybe I'll just put three colors and put a sentiment and keep it simple. Maybe that would have worked actually if I'd really gone with that. Maybe something I'll try another time. But I decide to persevere and see how I can use more colors. I was more into using the blues, oranges and yellows in one card and the rest of it in another card. I end up not using the greens at all, but I keep it for something else at some point. So here, this is where I start thinking, maybe I'll do half a wreath, as in a semicircle, if you like, on the card. So this is me trying to do a semicircle. But it's when I do the semicircle, I think, ooh, maybe I can think of doing like hanging vines. So this is when the idea comes together to do hanging vines. So this is when it almost clicks. So this is when I take out my layered dies. I'm pondering here. So I've got A2 layered dies, but I've also got A7 layered dies. These A7 layered dies, I don't really use because I don't really make A7 cards. But what's good about these dies, it allows you to make a border, almost any thickness border. So that's what I decide to do. I make a white border to put those hanging vines, essentially those colorful leaves in, so that they look like they're of a framed border. So this is me sticking the two different size A7 dies together, just like I would to do it through a die cut, a die cutting machine. So I stick it first onto my, my surface, my grid, center the second die, put more a painter's tape on it to make sure it's quite secure before I can put it through my die cutting machine. Then I'm going to make my die, my border with white cardstock. So that's me taking a white cardstock because I think it really will contrast against the black card and those colorful leaves. So once I get the white border available, I start getting my colorful vines onto my black card before I stick my border with some foam tape to give it a bit of dimension and stick it onto the card. So I'm going to leave you with some music now so you can see how I put this all together.
for the sentiment of the card. I use the stamping up sentiment. Have another quarantini. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home. Now it's got the word alone there. You drink it at home alone. So I do a bit of stamp surgery. I cut the stamp lengthwise into two and removed alone from the second line. Then I centralize both the lines and stamp it on the card. Now, sometimes I do this because it can still stamp the use the stamp as it was, but it just extends my stamps to give me the sentiments I want. So I wanted a sentiment that read in the inside of the card. It's like a normal martini, but you drink it at home. And the outside of the card to say, have another quarantini. I think the sentiments are cute and it's kind of suited to the person I want to send it to at this point in time. So I stamp it with Versamark Fine Ink, which is my favourite ink to do sentiments because it's quite a detailed stamp. And because it's quite a fine font, I don't press it too much. I use my stamping tool because if I doesn't, don't get a good print, I can always do it again. But in the first round, I get a good print without doing much of a press, just a very light press with my finger. And then I do the same with the card on the front. Right, I'm going to leave you again with some music so you can see how I finish up this card. I went ahead and used the rest of the colors of the die cuts and did another card. In this card, I used a vellum to make the sentiment so that you can see through the design. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like if you did and consider subscribing. Have a lovely day ahead.